Welcome to Public Health 700. My name is Michael Bird, and I'll be your guide as we go back first four million years to the Rift Valley in East Africa. Now the Rift Valley is a much different place today than it was four million years ago. Four million years ago it was covered with rainforest, very hot, moist, and this was a perfect environment for microparasites, all sorts of little bugs, viruses, bacteria that preyed on the earliest humans that lived in the treetops of that tropical rainforest. So that's where we're going first. Now think about public health and think about the basic science, the basic science that underpins public health, systems theory. Now systems theory or an ecological perspective is that all humans, in fact all creatures, all living creatures, are closely connected with their environment. Their environment, both their natural environment and their social environment, creates us to be what we are. And there is a close relationship between all living creatures. Everyone on this earth, everything on this earth is very closely related. So a small change in one creature, one virus, one bacteria may profoundly affect other creatures and ultimately human beings on this earth. General systems theory, ecological perspective, the basic science of public health. So let's get started. Let's go to the Rift Valley in East Africa. For the last four million years, the chief threat, in fact, for many years, the only threat to humans are these microparasites. So the leading cause of death for four million years until very recently has been bacteria, viruses, and infectious disease. So that largely, the story of the history of public health is a story of humans' fight, humans' conflict with these infectious diseases, the major killer of humans until just about 200 years ago, when the golden age of public health took over and human health began to improve markedly. Now remember the Rosling video that you have seen. Remember the bottom left-hand corner where all of the nations of equatorial Africa were clustered, these poor and sicker nations, and they aren't there for just a reason. In fact, many of them are still there. They haven't moved very much from 200 years ago because the threat of infectious diseases is greatest there in that warm, moist, tropical area. So again, history of public health is the history of infectious diseases, so let's get going. Time travel, one of mankind's favorite fantasies. But what if it were possible to build a real time machine and travel to the future or the past? All right, so Einstein, our trusty dog, the driver of our time machine, has put us down right on the edge of the rainforest in the Rift Valley of Africa four million years ago. Now, if we're careful and we are very quiet and watch, we will see the earliest humans emerging from the treetops in the rainforest and walking, beginning to walk across the savannas, the grasslands. Now, pay attention. This is really important. These early humans, early human-like creatures are walking upright on two legs. Very important evolutionary change in humans that defined who we are as humans and had profound implications for public health because the ability to walk upright sets up all the other important developments in human behavior that make us truly humans. So a key event, both in the, in the history of the world and the history of humans, is this change, this evolutionary change, 
the ability to walk upright. 